Welcome back to the vlog, everybody. I know it's been a while. We were working on the Techo Block Showcase project and I couldn't show anything, but we're on a new project. Decorator's deck going in, three tiers. It's gonna be pretty sweet. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how not to build a deck. There's a lot of things that were wrong about the construction of this one. So I'm gonna point those out. Make sure you don't make those mistakes and you'll be on the right track. So stay tuned. I can't, oh my God. Nice little railing here. <laughs> you can tell it's got a lot of give to it. And that is because they lagged the screws in from the outside. Make sure you put carriage bolts all the way through. It's gonna make sure it stays a lot tighter. Easy peasy. I wanna talk to you about some butt joints here. Not those butt joints, but these butt joints on this deck. You can see, look at this gapping here. The wood is gonna contract over time and you're gonna end up with all these uneven joints. Give them a little pan of that. Looks terrible. So what you want to do is if you have a deck that's bigger than 20 feet, run a breaker board in it and have all your seams put into a vertical piece and you won't have it looking like this. You can see this is contracted. It's trapping leaves and all kinds of debris and that's just going to make it rot out super quick. So don't do this. That is no good. Another thing that is definitely not right are these stringers. We've got almost 10 feet and there's only four stringers, that's no good. You want them every 12 inches for maximum support. That's a metaphor for this deck. It's a piece of junk, that's why it's getting torn out. One thing that's actually really nice, check out this custom curved lattice that they did. Really looks great. Whoa, whoa, not so durable. That's why we don't use these cheap lattice panels. They dry out, they crack like that. I mean, I am super strong, but even probably a little baby could kick through that. Important things that code officials are gonna be checking when they do your inspections is the height of your risers on stairs. So they're supposed to be within the three eighths of an inch of each other. Now this is pretty close. We have six inches, five and a half, five and a half, six. This one's a little bit big at about 16 inches. So, they're only 10 inches off on this bottom riser, but that is definitely gonna fail you on your final inspection. One thing that you're gonna need is proper frost footings on your deck and on your stair landings. It's gonna depend on your uh, location, how deep you need to go. In our area, it's 32 inches. They're pretty close here. We got eight and a half inches. So they're only 23 and a half inches off. Still pretty close. I'm gonna give them a pass on that one. Just kidding. This- Unacceptable. This is the point where it turns from funny to kind of scary. This is not a proper foundation for a deck. This is a four x four sitting on top of a paver, crappy paver at that. They could have at least used a techo block paver. This thing's pure junk. We have some cinder blocks here with a deck board propping the beam. I'm gonna guess that these are also just kind of sitting on the ground, which is insane. That's why they're basically falling down. I mean, this is just really, really bad and um, I didn't realize that it was this dangerous. This is the worst I've ever seen. It's really bad, ugly, and most of all, it's unsafe. That's not cool. That's not the premier way. Get another piece of this Chronicle. These beams are just sitting directly on top of the footings. They're just sitting on top of it. Once we cut through the deck boards, we're actually gonna do all the demo from the ground because this is actually super dangerous and I think this thing could fall down. And then they just use scraps of wood to shim it up. That's terrible. This one's got a bird nest on it. The birds moved out. It wasn't even a suitable home for a bird. So definitely don't want your family on this thing. It's almost as if these people read the book. They probably even wrote the book on how not to build a deck because if that's what they were trying to do, they did everything perfect. Ledger board here, zero flashing. Of course, why would they put flashing on it? They didn't do anything else right. This is gonna be the biggest spot where you can get water infiltrating into your house. Water can get trapped behind here. You can see all these leaves. This is no good. We need some flashing over the top of this to make sure that any water that hits this can go out on the outside of the framing, not into the interior rim joists of the house, which is not pressure treated. So we see that all the time, stuff rotted out, just not built properly. Another ridiculous thing that they did here they have six boards nailed together, no flashing tape or anything. Anytime you have two or more boards or any flat space where water can sit, put flashing tape on it. There's really no reason to ever put six boards together. That's just insane. 
I don't know what they were thinking. This thing is now all torn down. We're putting it in the dumpster where it belongs. Should have never been constructed in the first place. But if you watch this video and you don't do these things, you're probably gonna be on a pretty good track. If you check out some of our other videos, you'll find out how to actually build a deck. Just don't do this stuff, because it's unsafe and it's pretty scary. Anyway, this is Premier Outdoor Living.